We begin in the district tonight with local and federal officials preparing for 60,000 people to gather on the National Mall for a massive pro-Israel demonstration. Fox 5's Nana sent you Bonsu live with more on the preps for tomorrow's March for Israel rally. Nana. Kenneth, good evening. That's right. You said it. 60,000 people. That's how many attendees organizers are expecting here in the nation's capital tomorrow. Take a look behind me at the main stage. It is almost basically set and ready to go, but there are a few things that crews are putting together right now as we speak and as you can probably hear to make sure that things run smoothly tomorrow. This we're seeing here is just to accommodate all the traffic that's going to be ex expected to be in D.C. tomorrow. In front of the Capitol sits the stage for the America's March for Israel rally. People are coming in from California, from Florida, from Texas, Chicago, Boston, New York. Organizers say they are expecting anywhere from 60 to 100,000 people on the National Mall in a show of solidarity with Israel. A large swath of Americans are coming together and demanding the continued support of this government for Israel's needs to protect itself. No one wants people to die. No one wants more people injured or hurt. Um, but what uh, people do want and what Israel is demanding right now is that they are allowed to live in peace and security without the ongoing threat of Hamas six months, a year from now, five years from now, doing the exact same thing. In order to give people a safe and comfortable place to demonstrate, crews are hard at work. Placing protective floor covering on the grass and installing barriers. Bicycle rack or barricade, and that's basically to, you know, pr you know protect the, the the crowd from, uh, you know, surging. To help with the crowds, the city put in a request for the D.C. National Guard. There will be teams on the ground supporting D.C. police with traffic. MPD says at the moment there are no credible threats, but for organizers, safety is top of mind. In the current uh, climate, in the current context, um, it's something that we need to think about uh, very carefully and that people are worried about, but there will be very tight security for the event. Now, tight security, traffic, and road closures are all expected tomorrow. Example, 4th Street from Constitution to Independence will be closed to vehicles. So for a full list of closures and just how to get around downtown D.C. tomorrow, visit our website. The event kicks off at 1 p.m., but doors open at 10. Busy out there tonight, and it's going to be busy tomorrow. Nana, thank you.